Hello everyone, so we will continue our PySpark tutorial and in this particular video we are going to understand about the explode function in a PySpark. We are going to see how easily we can use explode function in a PySpark and a SQL. So let's take example. Suppose you have given one data set. So in an interview also they will give you a scenario like this only. So what they will say, they, suppose you have a data like this. So in this data you can see I have a name column and the language column. So you can see this name Manis, he knows Python, Java and C. Rahul, he knows Java and C. Kishore, he knows C++ and C. Suppose in the column you are getting a data in the form of the array format. Now what you have to do, your requirement is like you have to convert this array format data into the multiple rows. Like you should have one row for the Manis and the Python. You should have another row for the Manis and Java. You should have another row for the Manis and C. So this is the output actually we want. You can see in the array format whatever the data we were getting right we have converted into the row. So you can see Manish he knows Python, Manish he knows Java, Manish he knows C. Similarly for the Rahul he knows Java, Rahul he knows C, Kishore he knows C++, Kishore he knows C. So like this actually we have to convert. So this is the data we have and this is the output whatever we want. Now actually we can do. So this actually we can achieve with the help of the explode function that we are going to see. So I will open my Databricks notebook. So this is the data I have. I have a name and in the array format I have a data. Similarly for the Rahul and the Sam. So this is the column. Now you have to create a data frame and you have to convert into the row whatever the array form data we are getting. So how actually we can create a data frame. So to create a data frame first you have to write spark dot create data frame we have to pass the data whatever the data we have and also we will pass the columns and after that tf dot so if I do this you can see we have created one data frame in this data frame we have a name and we have a language so Manish knows this all the language Rahul knows this all the language now what is our requirement we are requirement is to convert whatever the array data we are getting into a multiple rows how actually we can do so for that first we have to import one library from PySpark PySpark dot SQL dot function import star so from a SQL function we are going to import everything now after that we will write that uh, how actually we will write so I will select df dot select so name column I want as it is so I will write df dot select name after that this language column writes here we will apply a export function so first we have to write uh, this call and the language so call is the one of the SQL function uh, in the SQL library this call is available so that actually I am using call language I am using and before that I will use the export function here export so what I am writing explode which particular column you want to multiple row this language right so that's why I have written export and the language after that if I will do dot so you can see whatever the in the form of the array it was coming right now it got converted into a multiple row so Manish knows Java, Scala, C++, Rahul knows this all the language Sam knows this all the language so this is very much useful so whenever you have to convert any array into the multiple rows so you can use a explode function now let's see how actually this we can use in a SQL so what I will do first I will convert this data frame into a view how actually we can do that df dot create or replace temp view and I will create one table sample so I converted into the one view and if I show you the data select star from sample so you can see I can write a SQL query now suppose in a SQL you have to convert this uh, whatever in the form of the uh, array you are getting a data into a multiple row how actually you can do that in a SQL so uh, the same what actually we can write select we want name as it is column comma we have to use a explode we will use a language from sample table 
if I will execute this you can see it got converted into a multiple rows so Manish knows Java, Scala, C++, Rahul knows this all the language and then the Sam knows so that is the use case and this kind of the scenario based question you may expect in an interview also so you should know about the exploit function so I hope you got the idea